Hey guys, so I'm at a Cretaceous land site, or quarry, as you can see. Plan on hunting all that down there, but this place is pretty big. There's uh, the other part of the quarries all over there. Um, you can find echinoids here, um, some shark teeth, fish teeth. Um, I've got an echinoid right here. Here it is. It's pretty small, but not bad. Found another one right here. I already picked it up, obviously. There's one right there. It's another echinoid. I don't know the scientific names because I usually uh, hunt for shark teeth. So, Skyler will probably know. I'll ask him. Another thing you can find here are oysters. That's probably the most common thing. They're just all over the place. They're huge, pretty big. But yep, just slabs and slabs of oysters. There's one right there, but obviously it's broken. It's just crumbled to bits. There's one right there. It's busted. Um, there's, yep, there's one right there. It's broken too. There's a third one. Where is it? Right there. On that rock. I always lose it. Right. There it is. Yeah, that's it. There you go. One's like embedded. Anyway. I'll, I'll get it out sometime. There's one right there. It's kind of on a pedestal. came across one here might be complete so I'm gonna try to dig it out and see oh it's broken oh well next time Another broken one. yep there's one it's pretty nice I don't know if you guys can see the detail on it or not, but it's a nice one. Alright, there's one right there as you can see. Oh, and it's actually whole. Surprise. Oh wait, no, it's got a small ding in the side, but close enough. There's one. It's obviously broken, but still an echinoid. All right, there's one there. Just gonna get it out of the matrix. Oh, and it's broken. Bummer. I'll try to re-glue that at home. Oh, top's busted, of course. I don't think I found like one decently big complete one today. There's one right there. Let's see if it's complete. Well, it's in a matrix, so. Looks pretty complete. If I prep it out, it'll look pretty nice. Sweet. This is pretty cool. It's a fossilized oyster with the crystals. I don't know if you guys can see those crystals or not. But what happens is some of the oysters get filled with water and then they fossilize and then the water turns to crystals. And then when they're exposed, you find the crystals inside them like this. Pretty cool. I might try to get it out of there, I don't know. We'll see. Well, I got out the piece. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can see all those crystals in there. There's like orange ones on the side. And there's those ones. Pretty cool. Nice little display piece. It's a fossilized oyster. Probably with quartz. I don't really know. Pretty cool. Hey guys, so here are all the finds from the land site. Uh, land site's located in Rocky Point, North Carolina. 
um, contains Cretaceous fossils um, under the PD formation. So we'll start with the oysters. As you can see, some of these are pretty big. It's probably the most abundant thing there. This one weighs, you know, three or four pounds, pretty heavy for an oyster. There's a pretty nice one. Oh crap. There's one that has crystals in it. The calcite crystals. I thought they were quartz originally, but I did some research and found out they were calcite. Pretty cool. There's another one with uh, crystals exposed. It's got, this oyster has these spines on the top that are super fragile. I just broke a part of one off touching that one. But yeah, can't prep it or anything with uh, vinegar because they'll just fall off. So I have to wait till I get my prepping tools. There's a really nice uh, oyster with crystals in it. Sweet. And then this one is my favorite. You can see all those orange crystals in there. Just looks really nice. It's a great display piece. I'll be putting this one on my desk, so. Yeah. Really nice. Here are the broken echnoids that you saw in the video. A ton of them are broken, which is pretty depressing, but <laughs> it's whatever. It stinks. Oh well. I bet I could find a couple of these that fit together. I'll see if I can glue them together. Here's some of the uh, shamers or heartbreakers. Could have been complete, but they weren't. You got a one shark tooth. It's a squally corax. You got one fish scale. And here are the complete echnoids. These are known as Arduinium Mortonis echnoids. That one has a really great uh, detail on it. Really nice. That one got bleached by the sun, so it's white. Very nice. So we have this one. This one's super fragile. There's a bryzo on it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Should I get this thing? There we go. There's bryzo on the top. It's pretty much keeping the whole thing together. You can see all those cracks in there. And if I put it in vinegar to try to clean it, it would automatically uh, just break into pieces, so I can't do that. I put some of these in vinegar, and they turned out pretty well. But I don't want to put them all in vinegar, because I can risk breaking them. Here's a really nice display piece with an actinoid right there. As soon as I get my prepping tools or airbrush or something, it'll look really nice. But, yeah gonna look good. Oh, here's a larger echinoid that I found. Um, I forget the scientific name, I'll put it in the description, but pretty sure it's complete. It just has a lot of matrix all covered all over it, and I don't want to risk the chance of breaking it, so I'll just wait till I get my tools. Here I have a spiny echinoid. Which is pretty rare. Can't find a lot of these. You can see all the spines on them. And let's see. One of the individual spines looks like this. Fiddle focus. There we go. Yeah, that's one individual spine, so they're all um 
driven into the echinoid like this. But yeah, and here is a starfish. Very rare. Very rare. There's one fin, there's the other fin. I only got a partial of it, but still, it's very rare. Hopefully, uh, next time I can find a whole one. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. See you next time.